today I'm going to be talking more about composition. Right off the bat, uh, I'm doing something different by playing. Instead of playing the first chord as a D half diminished chord, which would be that, right? Or, you know, that's what you typically think of in C minor. The two chord is half diminished. And then five is altered, then minor chord. But in this case, I think it's more interesting to play the two as a dominant sharp nine chord. And when I go to five, instead of five altered, because that's what you expect to hear, I think it's more interesting to play a sus chord. So I'm almost doing the opposite of what most people would do. All right? Like, you're always trying to figure out a new route to do or get to the same place or accomplish the same thing. So instead of going to E flat major there, I'm just playing an A7 sharp nine because I'm going to A flat. So uh, I could have done that. I could have gone two, five, one, four. But instead, two, five, sharp four, dominant, then four. This tune that uh, I'm going to talk about now is through composed. I guess you could call it A, B, C, D. There are some people that say, uh, you know, writers of tunes write two tunes and they write the same tunes over and over again. I don't want to do that. 